You ever wonder what it's like driving a thousand horsepower Cummins? Well, I'm here to tell you. That fresh burst out. We're breaking right into today's video. So just about two years ago, I made a video what it's like driving a 500 horsepower Cummins. Today, we're gonna be remaking that video but with a thousand horsepower Cummins. As you see, truck looks a little funky right here with 12 wides up front and stocks in the rear, but complete party mode is engaged for this video. So a lot of you guys usually see this truck on some 2414 forces on mud tires, but don't worry, they'll be on for the part of this video, the section of towing. So. Can a thousand horsepower Cummins tow? I guess we'll see today. We're breaking this video into a few chapters. One being burnout, two being towing, and we're gonna be filling this old girl up. Comment down below, can a thousand horsepower Cummins tow and how much it costs to fill this thing up? And check out some of this new merch too. We got tons of hats as well, go check it out, but let's start this damn video. Chapter number one, burnouts. You ever wonder what it's like driving a thousand horsepower Cummins? Well, I'm here to tell you. Not bad, bud. Like I said, 100K subs, we're blowing these bad boys off. Let's go. All right, so for some normal driving as well, I want you guys to get a little sound of this. Of these compound turbos spooling. Oh my. These five blades absolutely scream. Literally, when you're driving this thing, you don't even need the radio on. I got a 15 inch subwoofer right there, but half the time, we'd rather just listen to the A little two-wheel drive launch. You ready? Mm -hmm. A little bit, a little boosted joint. <laughs> What'd you think? <laughs> it scared me when it started. <laughs> all the sounds and all the goodies. <laughs> So I still haven't done a 4x4 launch on this new setup. I say, if we get a thousand likes on this video, I'll make a separate video, 4x4 launching this thing for the first time. Things may break, I don't know. Gotta check this front drive shaft, but if you wanna see that, make sure hit the thumbs up. Let's go. Quick little 60 roll. One, two, three. A little more POV action. <laughs> AZA carbon fiber steering wheel, this thing is mint. This old girl even gets some off-road action. So I had to put the tow setup on, of course. Like I said, 24 by 14 on 33s. So a lot of you guys say, 2414s, can't tow, rubber bands, useless truck, blah, blah, blah. We had to toss these on, of course. Well, let's see, take a peek on what we're pulling today. As you see, we got a seven by 14 dump trailer with four foot sides. I'd say roughly, I think the curb weight of it is 4,500, 5,000 pounds. So we're gonna be hooking Black Beauty up to this old girl. It's getting a little dark, so we'll probably pull it tomorrow. Now we'll finally answer the question, can a thousand horsepower Cummins tow and on top of it, on 24 by 14 rubber bands, two footers. Let's see what we got. From street truck to a little tow rig. 
just like this. Don't hit on the hitch. I got a new one coming on the way. Relax. So we got the trailer hooked up and we're just cruising around right now. This thing's pulling it like nothing. We're gonna get up to speed a little bit. The compound you hear immediately putting in the work. Immediately boost is just right there. I do have an EGT gauge tapped to the manifold but not ran in here yet because I used the MM3 and they don't have a port for it. So I'd have to hook up the edge that I have. But otherwise I'll be able to show you temps, boost and whatnot. But EGT is just the number anyway, so forget about it. feel like they're too busy to cook end up eating unhealthy instead you want something quick and easy but also nutritional and on the go factor has got you covered grocery store forget about it prepping your food forget about it less than two minutes these will be cooked they're delicious and you actually got tons of options so let's open up this box and see what we're working with jalapeno lime cheddar chicken let's give this one a go we're gonna pop this open all you gotta do is heat and eat. Let's do it, two minutes. Let's go. This smells for real amazing. This is the jalapeno lime chicken, and this is spicy cauliflower. So for this October, you could get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply just choose your meals online off their website. Enjoy fresh flavored meals that are delivered right to your door. They have uh, cold pressed juice as well, pineapple and turmeric. Super refreshing. This chicken is absolutely amazing for real. So Factor has truly helped me in a lot of ways, especially just eliminating the grocery store and cooking alone. So it gives me a lot more time to be productive, get what I have to get done, which I'm sure it could help you as well. If you're interested, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code JustinFeo50 for 50% off your first box. Perfect time to try it. Go get some, like I said, factor75.com, JustinFeo50 for 50% off your first box. Let's go. trailer brakes on this truck so I guess it'll get you huh brakes are a tad bit toasty but fine we got any water in here the rubber bands putting in the work light throttle So just cruising right around 60, as you see here, super light throttle. We're talking roughly 15 pounds of boost at 1800 RPMs. And while we're driving, this thing's pretty much smokeless for the most part. Just got back from cruising this thing, putting it through the little tow test and it pulled this trailer 7x14 with four foot sides, roughly I think 4,500 to 5,000 pounds, like a dream. We got it up to like 80 miles an hour on the highway, ripped it around the back roads a little bit, and it's pulling it like a dream. These five blades, stainless diesel compounds, eat this up no problem, and they sound absolutely amazing. The only thing, I monitored all the temperatures, everything was good there. The one thing I'd mention, which is to be expected, we've been ripping burnouts on this truck all the time, and now this truck also doesn't have trailer brakes, so, the braking is a little is a little bit rough and as you see we had those rear brakes smoking a little bit but besides that this thing is not a tow truck but if it needs to this is exactly why I built the truck we could go ripping some burnouts we could pull a trailer work it if we got it which I have 
and I've driven this thing all the way from Florida to New Jersey with absolutely no issues. And if we're talking about an overall dynamic truck, this is exactly what I wanted, a thousand horsepower truck that can do it all. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of like how it is driving it, what you can do with it, and with these compounds, what the capability of them are. So, so for whatever you wanna do, this truck could do it. Didn't break anything today, so that's a plus. The other thing, if you wanna see anything more in depth with the towing, burnouts, 4x4 launch is one that I would really like to do. So if you guys wanna see that, comment down below. We might have to let it rip in four wheel drive. But all jokes aside, this may not be the ideal tow setup, the 2414s on 33s, but at the end of the day, it can get the job done if you do need it. So if you are actually towing, assume you'd be on something else, but how to put them on just for the towing, because I know a lot of you guys, especially the older guys, get very bothered with the rubber bands on the truck while towing, but they can do it, so. And another important message, I have to introduce the new truck to the channel, the workhorse. As I said, this is not a tow truck, but if I need to work it, I can. That was the point of putting the trailer behind it and showing you guys that. But this new truck has been put in the work, needs a little bit of work, but it has been a dream truck of mine here for a little bit, so let's introduce it. And this new multi-camo hat is crazy, but like I said, new truck, what do you guys think it is? No wasting time. Boom. As you see here, Black Beauty now has a friend. This is a 05 Ram 3500 Laramie, four wheel drive. As you see, this is the girl that's really gonna be putting in work and pulling the trailer. But just to give you guys a quick little walk around. Also, need some TLC. It is a work truck, don't forget that. But as you see, the black leather, which is nice. I didn't even realize it supposedly has a factory DVD player, but here she is, completely bone stock grandpa truck. All it has is some tires on it, and that's about it. It's got the sport grill, sport bumper. I have always wanted a dually at some point. Found this one for a good deal. Had to pick this thing up, of course. Now, it's got a new friend to the fleet for 3Gs, and this thing really has been great. I got a bunch of plans for it as well. It is gonna stay more work truck style, tow truck. So if you guys have any plans you'd like to see with it, let me know. But I know things might escalate pretty quickly. But I wanna at least show you guys the new rig as well. Super stoked on that. If you like it, want some dually content, let me know down below. But just pulled up to the 76. We are currently right in between a quarter and empty. Comment down below how much you think it will be to fill this girl up. I'm trying to take some guesses. You got any guesses? Um, 115. 115, I'd say it's pretty close. I'd probably say like 110. I guess we'll see. So there's the prices. Comment down below what you pay near you. Get that, get that good old green pump going. Well, I was closer, <laughs> but we were both wrong. So we were both wrong. She is still chugging. Drive a thousand horsepower Cummins, they said. Your pockets will be very happy, they said. We got 125. There it is. Now that I'm broke, just go pick up some merch, justintheo.com, help the channel out. It's a good cause, you know, smiles per gallon here, we pay to play. Help me out. Never a better feeling right there. If you guys have enjoyed this video and would like to see anything else, make sure like, subscribe, road to 100,000 subscribers. Let's get it going, let's blow the tires off Black Beauty, let's let her rip. But until next time, I'll see you guys, peace. Someone please send help. P.S. If any of you guys forgot about the 2G as well, four-wheel drive, sport 2G, I have a lift waiting for this thing. Just have had no time to actually put it on. So give me some motivation. What you say? We get the lift powder coated and get it on here and get some wheels on it? What I'd really like to see here in the near future is a nice old gooseneck on this thick unit behind the dually and loading Black Beauty up right on the back of her hitting some shows. What you guys think? Also, what should we name this thick unit?